you have a RCA Roku TV and you have an issue with your sound, maybe the sound is not working even though the volume is all the way up and of course you don't have the mute button on or maybe the, uh, the sound or audio is like delayed or it's echoing, maybe it's out of sync or maybe it just sounds funny and kind of weird. Anyway, I'm gonna give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now. So the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and restart the TV using the actual remote. Now watch closely because it's a special key combination. What you have to do is this. First thing is press the home button five times. Home button is here. So one, two, three, four, five. Up once and then rewind twice and then fast forward twice. Let's do it together. Ready? Let's go ahead and the home button. Ready? Five times. One, two, three, four, five. Up once. Rewind twice. Fast forward twice. And now what happens is the screen's gonna act all funny here. This will take about like maybe 40 seconds, but just leave it just like this. And what's gonna happen, it's gonna go ahead and uh, reboot the TV. And then once it boots back up, go ahead and see if your sound is finally working correctly. The TV will turn um, off and on two times as well. So just be patient and just wait till it boots back up. Okay, so if this step didn't work for you, the next thing I want you to do is this. Go ahead and turn your TV on, leave it on. And then wherever your um, power cord is plugged into, what I want you to do is unplug it like that for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, go ahead and plug it back in, turn the TV back on, and then see if your sound is finally working. If it's not, we're going to go to the next step. Okay, so if it's still not working, next thing we're going to do here is to see if you have a uh, system uh, update that's possible. So first thing, just go ahead and grab your remote, press on the home button. And then from here, you want to go all the way down to settings. So we're going to go down to settings and then move over to the right. And then we're going to go all the way down to system right there. Move over to the right. And then from here, we're going to go down to advanced system settings right here. And then we're going to go all the way down to system update. So go all the way down to system update. Go ahead and click on the OK on the button and do a quick check to see if you have an update available. If you do, go ahead and download and install it. After it's done installing, go ahead and see if your sound is now working correctly, okay? But you can see my software is already up to date. Anyway, if this didn't work, we're gonna to go to the next solution. So the next thing we're gonna try is we're gonna reset the TV audio slash picture settings. So first thing is go into your settings, just grab your remote, press on the home button, and then from here, we're gonna go all the way down to settings move over to the right go all the way down to system right here move over to the right and then go all the way down to where it says advanced system settings right here move over to the right now it's on factory resets highlighted now we want to move over one more time and now it says reset tv audio and picture settings to proceed with this you have to go ahead and press the uh, play pause button here three times and it'll basically um, restart the uh, TV. It only takes like 15 seconds. Once your TV is booted back up, see if your sound is working. Now the thing is, if you tried all these steps so far and it didn't work, go back to the beginning of the video and try these um, each steps um, like two or three more times, okay? And if it's still down, then the last thing I have for you is just simply just do a factory reset. Just go ahead and grab your remote, press on the home button here, and then you wanna go down to settings again, move over to the right, and then we're gonna go all the way down to system, move over to the right, and now we're gonna go all the way down to advanced system settings again, move over to the right, okay? And now we're at factory reset. Now move over to the right, and then we were just at the reset TV audio and picture settings, but let's go down one. Factory reset everything. If you guys do this, remember, you're gonna be losing all of your Wi-Fi passwords and all that other good stuff once it's done with the factory reset, it's going to be as if you just bought this um, RCA Roku TV brand new and took it out of the box and you have to start off with the setup. Okay. Anyway, if you want to proceed, you should look down here and it should give you a four digit code. You need to go ahead and input that first and then go ahead and click on OK and then let us do its factory reset. Anyway, most of you guys should be up and running now. If this worked for you, give me a thumbs up and let me know which step worked for you. If it didn't work for you, give me a thumbs down so everybody can see. Good luck.